Justin sent me this and he wanted me to make sure you got it along with this gift from him. It's about time he sent me a letter. I'm guessing you guys haven't spoken lately? No, I, it's not allowed. I haven't talked to him. All I knew is that he would reach out to me and it's about time that he did. I miss him so much. My dearest Ashley, as I sit here a thousand of miles away, I just kept thinking about all the times that we spent together. Every step I take, I think about all the adventures that we took together. I promise you, Ashley, that I'll come home safely to you. I fight so that we can have a better life and America can be a better nation. Even amid all the chaos and danger, it's the memories of you that keep me going. I promise we'll be together soon. With all my heart, I will remain your devoted brother and soldier. Oh, that was sweet of him to send. This is my favorite color. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes, I bet that he picked this out just for me. I bet. He does all, all the little things. Very thoughtful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I found this watch the day before he left. And I felt like, hey, you need to keep track of time. <laughs> remember, remember to keep this with you. And then he sent it back. Like, he doesn't listen either. <laughs> <laughs> he always likes to mess around with you, huh? Why would he send me the watch back? I told him to keep, but he's so funny. Ooh. You want a medal? Gosh, that's gonna, not surprising. He's always doing good things. Definitely. Gonna put this rest next to the rest of the medals that he's won. Gosh. <sighs> this is so hard. I know. Goodness. I know. I actually always wanted one of these, so. <laughs> now you have a yeah, unique one. He knows that. It has all his credentials and name on it. I know that uh, things have been difficult lately. How have you been feeling? Lonely, depressed. Sometimes I don't even want to get out of bed because I don't have anybody to do anything with anymore. I know. You guys spent every single day together practically yeah it's weird not having him here i don't i don't even know what i'm doing like justin not being here it's just like what am i supposed to do now i've had him forever yeah i know that you decorated for christmas and i love it all <laughs> you've always been so into christmas both you guys have what why is that well, Christmas is special to us because it is how we dedicate something to our parents. Um, our parents died in a car crash the week before Christmas, unfortunately. And our lives changed forever. I was 18, Justin was seven. That was my baby brother and I had to stay strong for him. You know, I couldn't show them many emotions and it was really hard but we try to dedicate Christmas and make it a happy time for our parents so something that we cherish together wow I'm so sorry that happened gosh I'm I bet he's so appreciative and feels so lucky that he had you to raise him and show you the world yeah we did everything I mean my baby brother became my little kid, you know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. I know you guys haven't spoken in a while, but, you know, if you could tell him one thing, what would you tell him? This is going to go and get sent to him. Bring your butt home. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I would tell him. Bring your butt home. I just miss you so much, Justin. But I hope you guys can see each other soon. I mean, if you if you could see him, you know, right now, what would you do? How would you feel? I would grab him and never let go. <laughs> I would say, you know what? You can't go. 
I don't know what to tell you. You can't leave. Now you're here. <laughs> they would literally have to come to my door to come get home. They probably would, huh? <laughs> I know they would. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if that would really work out. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I missed you. I missed you, too. I'm home. <laughs> Why did you bring this to me? Because uh, I kept it with me. I kept it with me at all times.